One of the resources linked from the Moodle course is the textbook. As will be discussed in a later portion of the syllabus, the textbook is really to help you prepare for the problems that we do in class. So let's click the link and it'll take us to the textbook. Uh, you can see here the address. This is a free open website you can get here even without going through Moodle. It's, it's just free and open to anyone. If you'd like a PDF, uh, this is available. So you can go and you can click. There's an EPUB, there's a PDF, there's an HTML book. These are various ways you can download the book and have it on your own local computer. So if your internet's not very good, you can download a copy to your local device and read it at your leisure. So let's click read the book and see where that takes us. It takes us to an introduction to the course, sort of setting up the course. We'll discuss some of this on the first few days of class. There's also a how to use this book, which I recommend you read because it talks about, you know, sort of how to use the homework problems and describes these instructor's notes, which talk about these will be your quiz content. So the quizzes will be discussed again in a later part of the syllabus, but basically pay attention to what's in these instructor's notes. These are materials that will be on the quizzes. And there's even a link where you can provide feedback on the book for future editions. You can also navigate the book forward and backward using these tabs here at the bottom. So you can advance and go to the goals of the course or go to this section on biology, chemistry, physics, and mathematics. You can of course also get to it from the contents. I would highly recommend you read this because this really shows the different cultures of the different disciplines and what the different disciplines bring to science as a whole. So I would really give this a read. This is really, I think, pretty interesting. It's based upon some great work from the University of Maryland. And so I would encourage you to read it. So you can also see each unit is a part of the book. If you expand it, you can see each of the individual chapters. Let's go to unit one, chapter seven. So if you go to unit one, chapter seven, you can see all the sections are collapsed as uh, little headings. If I click plus, it'll open the heading. And you can see that this section is available both as a uh, video and as text. Whichever way you want to engage with the material, it's the same content, just presented in two different ways. So whichever way you want to engage is fine. You got the video, you've got the text, you've got the instructor's notes, which again are the quizzes like I talked about, and then you've got the homework problems. So you can see this is problem 16. If you click the link, it'll open in a new window. And if you're already logged into Infinity, it will take you to the unit one homework. And then you can click problem 16 and that will take you directly to it. So the information you need to answer problem 16 should be in the content directly above. So this information should help you answer this problem. Uh, looking at a later section, you'll notice that some sections are taken from your chemistry or your biology courses directly. Again, we want this to be a course that really helps you synthesize all the stuff you've learned in your different courses. Uh, that's what this logo represents. So here you've got an introduction to the electromagnetic spectrum from Chem 111 from Dr. Al Hariri. Once again, you've got the video and you've got the transcript. So whichever way you want to engage with the material is fine. And again, a homework problem. So this is sort of the main features of the book. I hope you find this helpful. This concludes this video.